All right, so it's 8 in the morning. It's May 20th, and it's actually Hayden's birthday. Um, but today, we're just out seeing what we can find. We're going to do some flipping. It's me, Hayden, and uh, one of our friends, Matt. Um, it's going to heat up pretty quickly, so we will probably only have a few hours out here. Um, but hopefully we can find some stuff. We'll see how it goes. All right, so it's been a bit of a slow start because uh, the rocks are still warming up, but I just had a nice triple flip here, some line snakes. Matt's holding the big one there. That's one of the biggest line snakes I've seen, I think. And this one's pretty decently sized. And then the third one right here. Um, but they're uh, nice and cold, which uh, means we still got we still got plenty of time. Um, we weren't sure if we would flip them in this little uh, ditch area because it's, it was really wet with all the rain, but that's kind of what lined snakes like. So we'll uh, probably just snap a quick in-hand picture of these guys and let them go. All right, we'll let the two others go, and we're just going to let this last big guy go. And hopefully we can continue to find some snakes. Uh, that's that line snakes will definitely be the snakes we find the most, but hopefully we can uh, add some other species. All right, well, Hayden just flipped number four right here. We'll probably try to record a few rocks here to see if we can get some flip clips, but uh, number four so far. All right, another line snake. This one's tiny, but we're definitely in their little area. These guys have their uh, pockets out here where they love to live, but uh, there that guy goes. All right, we got another. This one Matt flipped, which is his first flipped line snake. Um, I'll keep the clips pretty short. This guy's lighter colored, though. That's pretty cool. But I'll keep the clips short, keep on moving, we'll see what else we can find. Another little line snake right here. This guy's pretty small. Undersides. Their undersides are pretty cool with that checkered black patterning, but uh, just gonna set him right outside his rock. He'll probably uncurl there in a second and head back down. Oh, that's a good one, though. Oh. All right, here's another one right here that Hayden flipped. This guy looks pretty good. It could be a gravid female, but pretty large, pretty large, and it has a nice black checkering on the top as well. But he's pooping everywhere, as you can see. I'm gonna leave him alone here or her, and then let it go. All right, so Matt flipped that snake right there and that line snake right there. I'm just under this rock, so we'll let him go. And uh. I also just flipped this one a little bit further away, so I got to take it back to its rock. But uh, three more double digits now, I believe. But that's a fun day. All right, and now I'm just gonna let this other one go back under his rock. All right, here's another one. I'm working on trying to get flip clips, but I I start to like not flip one under a few rocks and decide not to try to film it, which is kind of lazy, but. I'll uh, I'll try to get some right here in the future. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Hey, that's a big line snake. You got another one, Hayden? That was kind of weird though. He was sitting upside down. But obviously he's doing fine. This is a pretty big one. You want to flip this one real quick? This rock over sure, here. Sure. Oh, nothing. All right, well, there's the flip clip for one of these guys. Um, Hayden's gonna probably come snag a picture and then we'll just set it right back under its rock. All right, this one has some nice patterning on the stomach right there. Still weird that he was kind of upside down when we flipped him, but we'll let him go back under his rock. Oh. Nothing. Nothing. All right, another line snake right here. Won't take much time, so I'll just set it back under its rock. And one more right here. This one's really small. All right, well, we just found what we were looking for. Absolutely stunning milk snake right here. Oh my gosh. This thing is beautiful, nice and cold, just sitting perfectly still. Um, yesterday was the day where we found eight uh, milk snakes uh, in an area where they're a lot more common, but that was still the first time we found them there for us. 
And then just the next day here, Hayden's birthday, found an awesome milk snake right here. Not much, not many better mornings than this right here, but since he's moving so slowly and holding still so well, we're gonna get some pictures of the, pictures of this guy, but just so awesome. All right, well, we got another line snake right here. Hayden's photographing the milk snake right now, so I'll be back in a second with some more video of that, but there that guy goes. All right, one more line snake. Not gonna take much time with these guys, but there it goes. All right, well, here's another look at this awesome milk snake. Um, Hayden has to head out. He got his pictures, but thankfully we could find this before he had to leave. Um, me and Matt will probably spend a little bit more time here, but not too much more. Uh, and then we'll just head out as well. But we can all go home satisfied because just, I mean, just look at it. But cool, we could find a whole bunch yesterday, find this one today in a different area where they're harder to find. Um, but just an awesome snake. Gonna snag a few more pictures and let it go here. All right, well, we're gonna release it right now. Let's see if I can get a quick look at that stomach. Solid white all the way down. Um, I'm just gonna set him right outside its rock. And there it goes. Wow. All right, well, they're pooping all over me, but we got two really big line snakes right here. That one is falling out of my hand. You can see how big he is right there. Um, but we're just gonna let them go back under its ro their rocks. Um, I think that's 20 snakes today, pretty much all line snakes, but still good numbers. Alright, so I apologize if it's hard to hear me because of the wind, but it's a new day. I'm just doing some quick local uh, herping and just found this uh, small western terrestrial garter snake. Might have found this guy before, but I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look at some pictures. But I double flip this other guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release this guy real quick and then I'll show you the other snake, but I'm pretty excited about this other snake that I just found. All right, so this is the other snake I flipped under that same board, and this is a red-sided garter snake. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this find because this is only the second one I've ever seen. Um, and this is in an area that I've been herping for years. Um, before I had my license, I'd just bike around here and herp all the time. Um, so definitely not a common species in this area. Um, and it's cool, the board I flipped it under, me and Hayden laid out this last year too. So I'm really stoked about this find. Unfortunately, it's deep in shed. Um, in some parts, it has some nice red on the sides, but it's pretty hard to see right now. Um, I think it would be a really good looking snake if it wasn't so deep in shed, but you can see its, it's eyes are pretty milky there. Um, well, it looks like he's getting ready to head out. But honestly, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm super stoked about this. Wasn't expecting it at all. At first, I thought it was just a really dull plains garter snake with that stripe on top but uh you can see it's a lot more brown instead of orange and then just that red siding so really stoked about this find wasn't expecting it at all but i'm gonna get a couple of pictures of this guy and then i will let it go all right well the wind might make it really hard to hear me but uh he's getting pretty defensive so he's puffing himself out more and you can see a lot more of that red right now which is really cool i'm still really bummed that he's a uh, deep in shed because I think he could be really really good looking if he wasn't um, but when he's puffing out like that it brings out the red a lot more still harder to see in the video than in real life but really just an awesome awesome snake especially for this area second one I've ever found um, so just really glad about this find but I'm probably gonna let this guy go here in a second and then I'll see what else I can find Alright, well I've bothered it enough, and now I'm just gonna try to set it back underneath this board, but it might just go off the grass, but there it goes. Alright, well I realized I did not film an outro from a few days ago, so I'll do that now, but I mean right now I just had a solid, solid few hours of finding some fun stuff with Hayden, which will be in the next video, but thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.